And with the uh, with the bad news that I'm about to reveal, it sounded like I was uh, a man on the edge. What's going on guys? Back again, feeling fresher. Um, this episode, we are going to be looking at the Yaris actually. Oh, that's not what I was about to say, but we're going to be looking at the Yaris. I'm going to get that swapped into the place of the Celica. And we're going to start looking, stripping that down, which is scary because that's actually a running car, which I quite like driving. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what else are we going to do? We're also going to be looking final bits off the Celica ignition barrel, I think, is the only sort of component. And I'm going to resip or sawzall or whatever you want to call it the lower front cross member which takes the front sort of torque I think it's torque mount stops the engine rocking back and forth going to cut that out of the body of the blue Celica that's out there because the Yaris doesn't have that so we'll have a little look at that hopefully we'll get the engine pulled from the Yaris and look at the drive shaft as well because that's been weighing on the old brain a bit but I think without further ado let's go Jesus. Right, as you can see, here we are in the engine bay of the Salika. This is where the mount was, and it's on this cross brace, which mounts at the subframe at the back. It mounts to this cross member here, this crusty, crusty cross member. It's pretty gross. We can definitely make something better. But in the interest of having something to work from, while the car's here, I'm just going to hackity 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 and unbolt that get it off the car get the ignition barrel out from inside shove this back out the way and bring that little bad boy to the forefront for its own little bit of surgery so let's crack on that then I'm significantly deafer than I was a minute ago people always bang on about loving recip saws for this kind of jazz but I definitely reckon I could have got that out actually quieter and neater with a grinder but hey ho it's got the job done one more thing ticked off the list I'm gonna whip this throttle cable out get the ignition barrel out As if by magic, the Yaris is in position. There she blows. The Celica is literally ditched in a hedge. So that'll be gone soon. Bye. Now into there. So uh, this is, like I said, this is a bit scary because this car works and I enjoy driving it. So. Hopefully this isn't the last time it moves. Onwards. shaft off shaft off so we'll pop the CV in or off of that we'll pop this one apart it's actually already popped apart so that's handy be pissing CV grease everywhere again which will be lovely and then we'll see what happens big time fingers crossed because this is going to be a real morale booster if uh, if it works out so let's do it So 
I did have a little look at this last night, but it sounded <laughs> I was knackered, and with the uh, with the bad news that I'm about to reveal, it sounded like I was uh, a man on the edge. So let's have another let's have a little look and try and re-record this. So the bad news is the shafts are different. So that's the Salika shaft you can see. It's a thick boy. And that's the Yaris shaft, which is a bit of a thinner boy. Um, so I did then spend two hours browsing the interwebs in the desperate hope that I might find a Toyota part that would fit this and have the same splining as that. Uh, but I canny, I canny find nothing, uh, which is a bit of a bummer. I don't know if it exists, I've tried asking a couple of people, but I guess understandably people who uh, do this for a profession don't necessarily want to share their secrets and risk doing themselves out of business. A um, little frustrating given that I'm so close, but yeah, we shall see. Few few plans, maybe we'll have a look at those later, do some fancy little artistic sketches, but all in all not not the news I was necessarily hoping for but it's not insurmountable um, that's where we stand with those shafts um, in the meantime I think we're gonna carry on pulling oh Yari here apart and we'll uh, see how far we can get in the few hours of daylight that we've got left so let's get laps in. And so comes the rain. Good progress today though. I reckon this engine is, I don't reckon, I know this engine is much, much easier to disconnect than the uh, 2ZZ. Pretty simple. Hopefully we'll have it pulled ASAP and we can start looking at how much space there is in the bay. But I'm gonna run away inside because as you can hear, Macho's Reynos. And uh, I'm probably gonna go and play with the wiring loom for a bit, which is gonna be, yeah, fun, but we'll be back soon to pull a bit more of this out once this has uh, subsided. Woo! The next day. What is going on? I've done a bit more work on this, so I didn't film it because you already watched me take the Celica engine out. Time lapsing me unplugging stuff is boring. There's now absolutely nothing, nothing at all holding this bad boy into this car. I mean, there is, there's three, three engine mounts, torque mount and two side to side, but that is it. All of the wiring is undone, all of the coolant is undone, everything is drained down. So that's good. Looms all unplugged and undressed. Why, Tom, or well, that is my name, have you done all of this why have you labeled all of the loom that you're stripping out well i've got to strip it all out and take it out of the car and actually you know it's not going to be used i'm going to be using the sleek loom it's just nice to know exactly what is what and it makes things a lot easier when it comes to following through the wiring diagrams so that is why for the sake of an extra 10 seconds of wire i've labeled everything but i'm going to pull this out now i think i'm going to get the crane tidied the Tidied the garage a little bit, which is nice. I'm gonna get the crane and pull it out. So that'll be that'll be a good way to end the video. I was a bit worried that we weren't gonna have what looks like progress because this is a visual thing. Look how dirty my hands are. Um, yeah, let's get it pulled. Mm -hmm. 
Et voila, it's out. So this is where, not that, but sort of that is gonna go. That's the uh, engine, what was in there. It wasn't too bad to get out. It almost actually disconnected everything. Uh, one bolt was all I missed. But anyway, I think that's, that's gonna be it for this week. Um, I mean, it's pretty good progress. Nothing groundbreaking, but obviously we're now in a position where the proper fun starts. We've got to try and make the other engine fit. Um, I know, obviously there was the issue with drive shafts. I've ordered kind of random YouTube video of a guy with a 2ZZ Yaris who reckoned that he ran the like Mark II, so like what, 06 to 2011 Yaris, lower arms and hubs, I think. It wasn't English, so it was quite hard to understand what he was on about in the comments. But I have ordered, I've ordered one side's worth to see if it will fit. I think it takes the CVs from the Celica, it's just the width. Obviously the sleek shafts are a bit wider, I think there's like 40, 40, 50 mil maybe a bit more in width that needs to be added. So we'll see. If not, it's custom shafts. Um, even as it is, if we add the width, the car's going to be wide, uh, wider at the front, obviously 20 mil wider each side at the front. So it's going to be going to be low and wide. But yeah, that's it for this week. Uh, if you enjoyed it, Give us a like, give us a comment, give us a subscribe. I think we're up to we're up to nearly 70 subs now. So thank you so much to those of you who have uh, who have subbed. It means a lot. And uh, yeah, take care of yourselves and have a good one.